Hi guys and welcome to another Total Technic video. Today we're going to be looking at how to remove the steering wheel control module. This is from the A4, S4 or RS4 uh, B6 or B7 models. They all have a, a very very uh, similar setup. Okay, So obviously it's hidden in uh, behind the steering wheel so there's quite a lot of strip down work you've actually got to do to gain access to it. Okay, First of all you need to remove your airbag. Once your airbag is removed you're then going to need to remove your, uh, your steering wheel. Okay. Once your steering wheel is removed, you're going to need to remove the uh, the lower dash panel um, from under un, under your uh, speedo here. This is the main panel at the bottom, and then you're going to have to remove your lower and your upper steering wheel cowls. Okay, and then you're also going to have to remove once you've got access to that your uh, clock spring or your squib uh, that sits at the front here, and then you're also going to have to remove your wiper stalk and your indicator stalk as well. Okay. So there's quite a lot of strip down work to do to actually gain gain access to this. It doesn't take particularly long, you, you know, probably take you about half an hour if you know if you know what you're doing, you know, maybe an hour. If you allow it an hour or two, you easily get to, to this stage. Now what we've done is we've actually filmed videos uh, for all of the uh, the components that I've just mentioned to you. I've mentioned them to you in the correct order, okay, so you can come back and reference this video if you need to. Uh, but if you look below this video in the uh, information section on YouTube, you'll see that there's links for all of the components that I've just named for you. OK, so if there's any of the components that I've named that you're unsure of how to remove, go and check those videos out. OK, get, get all of that stripped down in the order that I, that I just mentioned for you. And that will get you to here. Come back and we'll focus on getting this removed. OK, so with all that removed, uh, this will give us uh, the access we need to actually uh, get this steering wheel column uh, out of the car. Now you see you've got the uh, the key chamber, it's got a little electrical connection on it here, and it feeds through in between two kind of uh, plastic brackets here. So the first thing to do is just gently uh, remove that uh, from this little uh, bracket system on the uh, bottom corner. So that's the first thing. Now the other thing we need to do to be able to remove this is actually uh, quite a big uh, plug, electrical connection on the uh, on the back on the uh, inner side here. So I'm just going to very gently lift that up and twist that around. That'll give you a good view there of the electrical connection that's on the back. Obviously you've got uh, the usual compression tab there. So I'm just going to pull that down, pull the whole thing forward like so. So as you can see, uh, you do have to do quite a lot of strip down work to, to get to this stage, but to actually remove the, uh, the steering wheel control module itself is, uh, is fairly straightforward. So that is your steering wheel control module uh, completely removed and good to go.